What? Why? Like, what the heck? What's up, guys? I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. So my last video was super positive, super happy, super whatever. And this video, I'm gonna talk about the plants that I am not loving right now. I get comments all the time. People are like, oh, Amanda, your plants are so perfect. That is just on social media. If you come to my house, there are plants that are suffering. So these are gonna be plants that I'm either just not loving lately, plants that are giving me no growth, or they just are ugly. But as a plant parent, you always go through plants that you're just not loving. Or plants that you're like, why did I even buy this? Why did I even get this plant? Why are you here? I'm also gonna go over what you can do when you have those plants in your collection that you are just like, I am over you. I don't want you in my collection anymore. I don't want to take care of you. I'm going to go over a couple of things you can do when you get to that point, because listen, it happens to all of us. We all get to that point. You're not a bad plant parent just because you are just sick of a plant. I have several that I'm going to show you today that I'm sick of. Let's get started. Let me show you the plants that I am not loving right now. So the first plant on this list is a plant that I have been trying to love. I really have. I had to get it last year. And that is this Thanksgiving cactus. I am not about it right now. I accidentally left it outside. I've been trying to get this plant to bloom. Uh, apparently you're supposed to get them to start blooming around late September is when you're supposed to like move it from a brighter location to a darker location and a cooler location, which in Florida, it's very hard to find a cooler location, but at night it does get down to the sixties. So I'm like, well, I'll put it outside. Well, I was putting it outside every night and I forgot about it one night and it wound up burning. So I had to cut half of this plant up, basically like all the tips of this plant I had to cut off which is fine, but also like now I'm back to square one, like all the growth that I have had over the year, which this plant doesn't grow very fast, wound up burning. So you can kind of see I had one leaf. It actually kind of looked sort of pretty. I hate to say that. It kind of looked sort of pretty when it was burned. It almost looked variegated, like it was white. The leaves turned white. They were so sunburned. I felt bad, but like, I mean, whatever. So I brought it back in my house and I just kind of put it in the back of my shelf. On the top shelf, which doesn't get a ton of light, I just kind of shoved it in the back of my shelf and maybe it will flower, maybe it won't. I did see a bud on here when I was chopping it and I don't know where it went, but I hear that they're just kind of tricky to bloom. Even if you get it to bloom, the blooms might fall off. It's just kind of a pain in the butt and I just don't really want to deal with it. So it's, it's, it's an okay plant. It's whatever. <laughs> I saw pictures of these plants that were super long and traily and that were super flowery and super beautiful. And I super hate it. Like, I really don't like this plant anymore. I got it at the grocery store. I just saw it after Thanksgiving. I spent way too much money on this plant. I spent like, I think 20 bucks on this plant. But I mean, I just like, don't know if I want to keep this plant or not. Uh, I, I really, I have no idea. This next plant is going to be a plant that you guys will see that not every plant in my collection is perfect. And that is this Philodendron Sotoroi AFF. What do I say about you? Be positive, Amanda. Be nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Like, what the heck? So I got this plant recently. Within the last year, I got this plant and it declined fast. It did. It declined really fast. I have other philodendrons in my collection and they just... This plant was such a hard plan. I don't 100% know exactly why this plant wound up becoming the worst plant in my collection. Every new growth wound up starting to rot in the sheath. And then when I would get a new growth, it would be like disfigured, not 
variegated at all because these are supposed to be like silvery variegation. Not variegated at all. The leaves literally look like chewed up and spit out. Like they're just not, they're not pretty. And honestly, like I have thought about throwing this plant out, but I'm keeping it just to as an experiment <laughs> to see if I can bounce it back. It actually was just chunks and this is what came from the chunk. So I guess that's a little bit of a, of a little like success, but um, it's just, I hate it. I honestly keep it. So if you guys know where my propagations are, I keep it behind my records because I don't even want to look at it. It does get a good amount of sun. And because it's in a cube, like in a cube shelf, it probably gets a good amount of humidity. I did have a, a terrarium over it for a little while and I did take it off just cause I'm like, I don't want it to get used to living in a terrarium because these plants do get big. I did wind up getting a true soda Roy. Um, I didn't show it in my plant hauls. I treated it a little bit. I'll come clean. I did wind up buying a soda Roy, but it wasn't super expensive. So I was just like, whatever. And it was after I filmed the plant haul. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. But when I found out that this wasn't a true soda Roy, like I was like, what is it AAF? It basically means that it's a soda Roy variation. They can't really like pinpoint exactly what this plant is. It's similar to a soda Roy. So <laughs> yeah. So this next plant I will always keep trying because I loved it and then I hate it and then I loved it and I hate it. And that is a philodendron brandy. So we're gonna lose this leaf soon. It's just yellowing. Um, these two leaves here I have recently planted. I just propagated those. And then we have this pretty little leaf. But if I remember correctly, this plant was in my plants that I'm loving at the moment. My last video, not the one that I just posted, but the one after that. And now look at her. We hate her. We don't love her anymore. Like, I mean, I won't, I wouldn't say hate you, but I'm not loving it. I'm not loving how this is growing. This, is, and like, I have like these weird, like wonky things. Like, I don't even know. She sits on my, sh on my shelf next to a humidifier in grow lights and is just, Never happy. I did repot it. Um, I did plant these in and I repotted it to see what was going on and it wasn't root rotted. It had great roots. So I don't know. I might actually, I've been transferring some plants into pond. So I might wind up putting this in pond, but who knows? I don't even know. So the next plant that I'm not loving is another plant that I have just kind of given up on. It's a plant that I kept trying i put a lot of time and energy into it and i i don't think that it will ever be the way it used to be and that is this <laughs> reverted philodendron pink princess it is now a burgundy princess i don't love the pink or red variegation. I don't like it. I just don't think it's pretty. I like greenery. I don't like colorful plants. So uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, <laughs> I do have a cutting from my Philodendron White Knight that wound up getting that kind of like reddish pink variegation. So once that roots, I'm actually gonna plant them together and I think that might be pretty um, just to have like a bigger plant. I just, I don't know. It does have some, like, it does have some coloration on the stems, but it just, it's, it's pretty much reverted. Like every new leaf that comes out, I'm hopeful, but they're always that, that color, that ugly color. And this one's kind of like half moon. It's kind of cool, but. I don't even know. So once I really started getting into plant collecting 
and starting getting more into the plant community and stuff like that, I wound up getting a plant gifted to me from another girl that I am friends with on Instagram. And it's now become one plant that I just don't like anymore. And that is this philodendron burl marks. <laughs> It's grown a lot. It's it's grown a good amount, but they're just, they look like lily pads. Like they're just weird. It's a weird plant. Now this isn't probably my least, least favorite plant. There is times where I'm like, you're cute, but 96% of the time I am just like, I don't. Now I can't really say much because I didn't buy it. I did, well, I was gifted it, so you know, it was very nice. And if you're watching, I'm very sorry that I say that, but I just, I don't love it. And like all the, all the plants that, like all the mature like versions of those plants, like this plant actually grows wild in Florida. I've seen it in like landscaping and stuff. And it grows weird. It's like, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't really like it. Um, that actually might be my plan for it, is to put it outside. You guys might think I'm crazy for not liking this plant, but I'm just like, it's just weird and I don't know. I just, I'm not loving it. So this last plant is a plant that I have been doing a lot with lately. It's actually had a lot of issues. It's had a lot of issues. I got it last year and I was really excited for this plant. And then all of a sudden I was just like, not about it. And that is this Jodiscandia. Now, what I did was <laughs> I wound up putting this in water just because I actually really liked the, the glass jar. And this plant roots super well in water. Like if you see all those roots. This plant had thrips last year. It had thrips this year. Found them again on this plant. So that's why it's also in water because it helps it out, sort of. This will tell you right now, if you find a plant on Instagram or social media or Pinterest or even on my channel, like there are times where you'll see a picture and it's edited and it looks different than what the plant looks like in real life plant that I really wanted was this plant and it had this pure white variegation. This plant has never had pure white variegation. Of course the camera is making it look that way but it is very yellow. It's very creamy yellowy variegation and I won't say that I hate that but I don't love it. So yeah I just I I don't really know. This plant has just given me so many issues that I just, it's not worth it. It's not like it's like one of my favorite plants that I'm like, you know what, I don't care if this plant will always have thrips. Like I will love it to the end. Like, I just, I don't, I don't really like it that much. I do, I do like it sometimes, but I definitely am not loving it right now. What do you do when you get to this point and you have plants in your collection that you are just not loving? Here are some tips that I can give for you when you get into that situation. One, donate and trade the plant. There are so many Facebook groups that do plant sales, plant trades, plant purges that you can list your plant in. There are times where there might be a plant that someone is looking for that is willing to trade a better plant for. It may not be a, a, the wishlist plant that you're thinking of, but it might be a plant that you don't have in your collection or you wanna add a second one into your collection. So a lot of times, you know, there are people that are also getting rid of plants that they're not loving at the moment either. So it's kind of a win-win. You kind of get rid of a plant that you're not liking for a plant that you love. Also, donate is kind of a loose term. I almost want to say like gifting. So like if you have someone who is starting to get into plants or you have a plant that you're like, you know, it looks okay, but I don't want to keep it anymore. You can also gift that plant, put it in a nice pot and gift it to somebody. You can give it to somebody for like a housewarming or birthday. So gifting plants is another great way to get rid of some plants that you're not loving, also trading them. Another thing you can do is sell them. 
If you have a plant that you're not loving and it is a sought after plant or a rarer plant, you can sell it. You may not get as much money as you got when you originally bought it. It kind of depends on the health of the plant the situation. There are people out there who are trying to look for plants and also kind of help us out in buying plants that we're not loving anymore or plants that we're just trying to get rid of. Going to the internet, going to the plant community is the best way to do that. I have even considered kind of selling off some of my plants or even just trading or just being like, hey, if you pay for shipping, I'll give you the plant. That's always a great way to do it and just also a way to kind of dwindle down your plant collection and it also makes room for plants that you actually want. Now I know that I have the benefit of living in Florida, but you can put your plants outside. Even if you don't have like amazing weather for the entire year, you can put them outside temporarily. Put them outside for the spring and summer and see if they blossom and get big and then you may even decide to love them again. Because there are so many reasons why you're not loving these plants. It could be the fact that they're growing weird, they're not growing at all. I've considered putting that philodendron sodoroi outside to see if it will grow better. Just because I live in Florida, I get a ton of humidity and a ton of sunlight, so that is perfect conditions for that philodendron, so I've been debating. Also with my philodendron bro marks, I've been thinking about putting it outside. I have to re-landscape my entire like pool area. It's usually where my plants go because it gets the most sun. It's like that southeast window. Probably actually wind up putting the brow marks in the ground and seeing what it does. If it dies, it's gonna be sad to lose it and you could take a cutting just in case, but I'm really not gonna be super worried about it. If you live in an area that has pretty good weather or even good weather for a few months of the year, you can put it outside and take a break. Take a break from it, let it thrive outside, and if it dies, then you let nature kind of do its thing. And then the next thing that you can do with your plants that you're not loving is combine it with other plants. So I have had this where if you have a plant that is similar to another plant, you can combine them together. Not only will it make it fuller, but it's gonna lessen your load also with your plant collection. If you have a ton of plants, adding those two together is a good option. One plant that was going to be on this list was my Philodendron Silver Sword, just because it's one long stick and I just like don't know what to do with it. But I'm actually considering placing it into another plant, like I could even put it with the Sodoroi. If it's a plant that has similar care routine, you can combine them. And also it might hide the ugly plant that you're trying to get rid of. I'm also going to combine my Pink Princess or my Burgundy Princess with the White Knight cutting that I took and combine it and make like a bigger plant out of it. And maybe it might spark my love for that Philodendron Pink Princess again, but who knows? And then one thing that I'm doing, I'm actually doing it with my Thanksgiving cactus, is I put it in the back of my shelf and I'm trying to forget about it. You obviously want to make sure that you still have the plant in an area that it will still survive. You don't want it to be in an area that doesn't have any light or does you don't ever water it. You also don't want to forget to water it and take care of it. I also have my Sodoroi behind an album, like on a shelf. So it's definitely back there and just kind of out of my way. I don't even think about it, but I always try to make sure that I water it <laughs> before, you know, it does die. But just kind of putting it out of the way, it's kind of like out of, out of sight, out of mind in a sense, but be mindful a little bit <laughs> to not kill it. But sometimes it's just, you know, if you just kind of put it away for a little bit, you might start to be like, oh, well, you know what? I actually like this plant again. It happens. I have the perfect example, my philodendron micans. One of the last like plants that I don't like right now, um, I did my philodendron micans and you guys went off. You guys exploded. You were like, are you kidding? I didn't like the way it was growing. I didn't like the way that like the leaves were getting tiny and whatever. So I wound up chopping it up, propagating it, planting it all together, put it on a trellis. And now all of a sudden I'm just like, oh, hey, like you're really cute. Like I, I'm sorry that I ever doubted you. Like <laughs> you're just, you know? So sometimes it can happen. Sometimes you just may be so over it 
and then you just like, oh, actually, that's a kind of a cool plant. There are so many things that you can do with your plants when you're not loving them versus just throwing them in the garbage. Let me know in the comments if you have a plant that you're not loving right now and what do you plan on doing with it? Do you plan on just kind of keeping it in your collection and just letting it ride? Or are you going to sell it or trade or do any of the tips that I mentioned? Let me know in the comments. But that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.